My earliest hockey memory would probably be going out and skating with my dad. You know, he'd take me once a week and it was awesome. All I remember is being in my unfinished basement and, uh, you know, shooting pucks at the net. And after that, I was addicted and I uh, wanted to be a pro NHL hockey player. My first memory is actually uh, playing hockey on a pond. I don't even know if I was really playing hockey. I was more kind of just skating around out there uh, with my little chair and um, you know, trying to learn how to skate. When you think Canada, you think hockey. Dedicated fans, cold winters, the jersey numbers passed down through generations. Hockey is in Canada's blood. Many young children grow up dreaming of becoming the next Gretzky, Crosby or Breiteur. But this passion comes at a price, one that some parents are struggling to afford. For a nation fueled on hockey, how can the sport continue to grow when the next generation are becoming financially locked out of participating? Scarborough, Ontario is a community that's seen significant decline in enrolment numbers for junior players due to the rising cost of the sport. Located east of Toronto, this is the hometown of Philadelphia Flyers Ford, Wayne Simmons. In 2012, Simmons and lifelong friend Brandon Sinclair founded Wayne's Road Hockey Warriors, an annual ball hockey tournament for local youth. Brandon Sinclair and I, we started this charity three years ago. Uh, we played hockey ever, together ever since we were six years old. We played together for probably, you know, 10, 11 years. And, you know, both of us, you know, we, we had circumstances when we were younger where you know, we needed, you know, the community to step in and help us out. We both come from situations and family backgrounds where we had some hardships and struggled financially. And it was through the, the support of the community and them providing and giving back to, to our families when we needed it that allowed us to stay in the great game of hockey. When I played with Brandon for those 10, those 10 11 years, we had one coach and his name was Mike Hutton. You know, he helped, he helped me out a lot you know, with registration and uh, things like that. And, you know, I'm just grateful that I got the opportunity and if it wasn't for people like that helping me out, I wouldn't be where I was today. The day takes place at Scarborough Gardens Arena, where Simmons played single A hockey for the Toronto Aces. I'm going to give those to you, and then there's two more. I gave her hers, okay? Have fun, guys. The 2014 tournament enjoyed its highest number of participants to date. All 80 children received a brand new helmet, gloves, and a stick, courtesy of the NHLPA. While competing in the tournament and making new friends is a highlight, this day is special for another reason. Their hometown heroes, who made it all the way to the echelon of hockey, are here for them. The experience means the world to both the players and the kids alike. Uh, growing up as a young kid, all I wanted to do was, you know, meet NHL players and whatnot, and I uh, never had that opportunity. So uh, Wayne puts on a great event here. These kids get to meet NHL players, uh, guys they look up to, and. Uh, as the NHL players, we enjoy being here and uh, hanging out with the kids. Actually, when I was younger, I, I went to Kevin Weeks' hockey camp. He had a hockey camp in Scarborough that he ran, and you know, I attended that for, for three years. And like I said before, I got the chance to meet Kevin Weeks, Anson Carter, Brad Richards. Those were the first three NHL players I met. And you know, that not only making my day, but you know, I think possibly having you know, outcome on my life. You know, just, just being able to be in the situation where I can do the same for others. You know, it's it really gratifying. I don't speak French. How are you? How are you? How are you? Yeah. 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 There wasn't anything like this when I was growing up, but definitely, you know, I saw guys like Wayne and, and Chris Stewart and Anthony Stewart. I saw them make it, and, and that definitely gave me, you know, a little bit of hope and, and allowed me to believe that I could make it out. Unlike some other sports, the amount of gear needed to play hockey while keeping the game safe soon adds up. This cost plus increasing registration fees is making the sport less accessible to families in an already difficult economy. Many children find it hard to continue pursuing their hockey dreams without the support of others. Not everyone faces these financial barriers, but Simmons and others involved with the charity, like Tyler Sagan, can appreciate the struggle. They've been there before. You know, as years got went along, uh, it seemed to get more and more expensive for my family. And 
uh, a lot harder at times and um, you know some people were helping me out along the way as well as well as you know Wayne when he was growing up so I know uh, where he's coming from. The cost of AAA nowadays is $10,000 just to play for the season not including equipment so fees to get involved are in increasing at a really rapid rate which is not feasible for a lot of families and also the cost of equipment being so high tech nowadays has gone up tremendously as well. I mean, the cost of skates you see for, for the average pair of skates is probably about four or five hundred dollars. Uh, a one-piece stick, maybe two, three hundred dollars. So, cost of equipment and, fee and fees are going up and making it really, you know, not feasible for, for a lot of emerging families. I remember growing up, uh, if it wasn't for my grandparents, you know, it would have never happened. So, uh, financially, it's tough for parents, and uh, it's just getting more expensive. Someone was saying it's ten thousand dollars to play AAA nowadays. When I was younger, it's probably about two thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars, and even that was expensive. Hockey is part of the Canadian way of life, bringing pride and joy into homes and arenas right across the country. <laughs> to keep producing world-class players, the charity believes it's important for Canadians to get behind their cause. Uh, we've seen in Scarborough specifically a decrease in enrollment of kids in hockey because because of the costs going up. So in order to produce, I mean, the next level of superstar and keep our gold medals coming back to Canada and really owning this as Canada's game, it's important that we all get behind the kids and the future generations to support them both financially and through inspiration and, and motivation. This is Canada's sport. This You see in the Olympics, the entire country stops. They, they watch the game and, uh, you know, there's not a kid that doesn't want to put on some skates and, and get on the ice and play some hockey. Honestly, anybody that's a true Canadian could appreciate hockey and could appreciate, you know, trying to find the funds for hockey-related things. This is such a great event because we help fundraise money for people to be able to participate in hockey. So it's just really important that we have these types of programs. There's not a lot out there. I, I think they should care because I think everyone should be able to, to play something if they, if they want to. If, if something like that's holding people back from, from you know, playing a game that they love, I don't see why you know, we wouldn't want to you know, help them out and, and maybe change something. So, I mean, that's why they should care is why would you want to not let someone do something they want to do. You know, if players like myself or other people who have the power to help out, they don't continue to help out that, you know, it's, it's going to fall by the wayside. And I personally think, you know, that, that we're doing an awesome thing here and, you know, we're going we're gonna to help spread the game and it's going to be awesome for Canada down the road. As the charity grows, so does the impact it's making. The Warrior Program is a new initiative launched in 2014, where families nominated the children they believed deserved sponsorship. The new Warrior Initiative this year has been awesome. This is kind of, when we started, this was kind of what we wanted to see. And what the new Warrior Initiative is, it's helping three kids uh, in House League, Select, and Single A, where help pay them for their full registration fees for the year. Uh, as well as outfit them in full sets of gear. You know, all the money that we, 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 we get donated to us, is that's where it's going to go. And you know, if we can help out more than three kids, then we're going to help out more than three kids. But we're going to start with three and you know, we're going to start small and then you know, see how it goes from there. But we want to be able to help with registration costs so that, you know, that kids are, are able to play the game and you know, be happy. Simmons personally took his Warriors to the NHL PA warehouse in Toronto to outfit them with new hockey gear. A big help to the hard-working families that want the best for their children. A lot of people have the potential and drive to do something great, but I think when they have that push or they have that support, it can really elevate their, their game and their, their passion to the next level. So I think knowing that there's a, an organization like ourselves behind them will really inspire them and give them that motivation they need to take it to the next level. To be honest with you, I feel like I don't really know how they're going to feel like when they receive the funds, but I do know that they're going to appreciate it and I do know that they're going to love it and they're going to do their best. I mean, the, all the energy and like the love behind this project and everything that we want to do for these kids is so evident and I feel like when they get it, they're, they're going to do a great job. In the three years since its inception, Wayne's Road Hockey Warriors has seen consistent growth. This year, over $10,000 was raised through donations and raffles for autographed jerseys, with new sponsors bringing increased awareness to the event. 
It's been so crazy because I remember looking back three years ago when we started this, we were just sitting there and we were thinking, okay, what activities should we have at this event? And now, you know, you look back three years later and there's 12 NHL players here, so many kids. We have 10 teams of eight kids, which has expanded. Last year we had, we only had eight teams, so we got, we got 80 kids this year. And we're actually working with Sports Check this year and, you know, they've provided a lot more social media coverage for us. And, you know, they've allowed us just to get it out there and spread the game. And, and then spread the word and um, you know I, I think we've really benefited from it. You know you see more of a turnout here there's more fans there's more kids and uh, it's a great event and uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it. An idea Simmons and Sinclair developed during the 2012 Winter Classic is now expanded to include a committee dedicated to ensuring the continuing growth and success of the charity. Every year there's always something that you know you, we kind of learn on what didn't work what does work but I think that um, having a big committee and having sort of those key people that are really professional and that really have a passion for hockey and have a passion for the community, um, that's like, that's the number one thing I feel like that brings this entire thing together. This year because we have such a, a great you know, committee and board members, it's a, freed up some time for me to be actually able to enjoy the experience and watch some of the kids play which I haven't been able to do in the past. I'm, I'm just blown away at the amount of talent that our, our next generation of hockey players has. And watching them out here do what they love, that, that's my favorite part, it makes it worthwhile. Despite the stereotype of hockey players being tough, the NHL and its players show their softer side by giving back to the community through regular charity events. It's a testament to Simmons's character that many NHL stars give up their time during the off season to be involved. Win? One on one. So you're hanging in there. There you go. You're welcome. Yeah, what do you want? On the number or on the yellow? Uh, I got a good friend, Wayne Simmons. Uh, we played together in LA. Uh, we live together and uh, we, we have that relationship where, um, you know, he's going to come to my things, I'm going to come to his. And, uh, you know, it's, it's a great event. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I uh, enjoy being here. Yeah, this is my first year um, being a part of this event and this charity. Wayne uh, works out with me in the summers and he, you know, passed along what he does. And, you know, I got here pretty early, but I couldn't believe it turned out already. And obviously the kids out here always see, already seem to be having a good time. And uh, I've been able to catch up with some other NHL players, so it's going to be a good day. What brings me back is, is just the fact that, um, you know, I enjoy giving back to the community. And, you know, if we can help a couple kids out every year, and that makes me feel good personally. And, Obviously, hockey being such an expensive sport, you know, there's, I'm sure there's a lot of kids out here that you know, would love to play, and, and we're trying to give them a chance. These young players are the future of the game, and the NHL knows it. Without them, the quality of their on-ice product could diminish in the years to come. It's really prevalent to help out kids because we want to grow the game, and you know, I think the NHL does a great job with that. You know, with their Hockey is for Everyone program, and, you know, with all the other players, you know, helping out, having their own uh, golf tournaments or ball hockey tournaments or whatever it may be. Um, you know, all, all the players are on board to help spread the game. And, you know, I think, like I said, we've been doing a good job. That, that, that's the most fun part of our job uh, when it comes to doing charity things and comes to doing things off the ice is meeting the kids and knowing they look up to you and knowing how much they, how happy they are just to meet you. It's, what we, it's why we do it a lot of times. I mean. It's, uh, it's a great feeling. I've been a part of many events and charities, and uh, whether it's hospital visits or things like today. The smile on those kids' faces is why you, you love the game. You know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be recognized for what I did and to be a professional hockey player and live my dream, I guess you could say. And for kids to, to see that and kind of get excited, it's an awesome feeling. And uh, they'll come out and just have, actually have some fun with them and interact with them. Um, that's what it's all about. If you don't help the kids, uh, those kids aren't going to make it. I mean, these are the, these are the guys uh, that are going to end up playing um, in 10, 20 years. So um, if you can change one kid's life and then you know, make him realize his dream, that would that, be in the world. With recent successes, Canadian hockey is on a high, inspiring more kids to take up the sport. The increasing popularity is good, but the charity recognizes what truly makes this game great. Hockey is really about the community. There's a whole dynamic that hockey people and people involved really portray. And so it would be really sad to see the hockey community decrease because, you know, not everybody's going to make the NHL. But like my, myself, I didn't make the NHL. But through my support networks, my groups, and the lessons I've learned in hockey growing up has allowed me to be the best person I can be. 
So to see that shrink, I think, would not only impact our game of hockey, but the next generation of kids and, and just our overall you know, country altogether. So where do the players think the future of Canadian hockey lies if the downward trend of youth hockey registrations continue? I'm sure there's a lot of players that you know, were unable to you know, play hockey that would maybe potentially make it. So you never really know. It's hard to, hard to say, but um, you know, if costs do go down, you'll definitely see a lot more uh, people playing. With, with where we're going, who knows? Uh, it's hard to say what's to be expected of this sport. Um, it's growing every day, every year. Um, I'm very happy that I do it for a living, but uh, it's going to get harder and harder, I think. Canada is such a big place for hockey. You know, it, it kind of sucks because, you know, Hockey's a great sport and it's Canada's sport at the same time and uh, when, you, when you see kids who have the potential to be great players and they're, they're not able to afford uh, playing, it's sad but uh, at the same time that's why we do these kind of events. We try to help out the kids and uh, try to put them in some skates. You know, if the prices keep rising in hockey, I think, you know, you're going to see a lot, of, you know, a lot of people drop out. I think that's why hockey's not the biggest sport in the world when it has the potential to be because you know you have other sports like soccer and basketball where you know you just need a pair of shoes and a ball and um, you can get along fine whereas hockey you know you need equipment you got to pay for registration fees and uh, it can be difficult especially when it's um, you know when you have siblings The founders of the charity hope their progress in helping Scarborough families in need will inspire others across Canada to get behind their own hockey communities. I think Wayne's Rocky Warriors, uh, it provides a, a hub. It provides kind of an event where, for people can plug into and be a part of you know, giving back and, and helping the hockey community. So I would really like to see this, this kind of go across Canada and inspire other people in little communities, big communities, to start their own tournaments and help support their local community and get their kids involved in hockey. I would really personally like to see us give uh, like grants and foundations and stuff, things like that. Like it's really important that we find some sort of sustainable income from the fundraiser so that we can keep helping the community throughout the year and not just on the day of. With Wayne Simmons destined for a long, successful career on the ice, there's every chance some of his Warriors could one day be playing alongside him in the NHL. We're just trying to help grow the game here and you know, get as many people involved and, and let everybody know that you know, there are programs like this around that will help you out. Even if you, know, you, you necessarily don't have the means, don't be afraid to, you know, to ask for help because there's always people in the hockey community that are definitely willing to help out.